Before we live here from Zero Latency for some zombie VR, it's live from last week episode 153. Let's go! Let's go! Welcoming my fellow Walkers to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So today, just getting off my third night shift in a row, waiting here at the side street in the morning for the wife to come pick me up. We'll just start with a quick birthday shout out to one of my cousins out there. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Janelle. Happy birthday, Janelle. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But moving on, I'm now seeing that the wife is slowly approaching, so it's time to hop into the mini, commute back home, where we will continue this segment. And speaking of commuting, yesterday while pulling up our navigation app, we saw that Google Maps had updated their interface using these blue lines instead of its original green lines for its routes. But guys, something that is staying green today is my usual Get Shift Done shirt that I have on, which I only wear when I go in for my last in a set of four night shifts. Cause tonight I'm going in for one more night. And with that, we'll wrap up this segment for today, and I'll just catch you guys again tomorrow. Finally coming off that set of four nights, where during work in the break room, I found these boxes of goodies. I did what I always do whenever I find boxes of treasures of donuts in the break room, picked out the tree of the night, and ate it up as a coping mechanism for yet another stressful night shift. But yeah guys, while we're on the topic of treats, on the commute back to the condo, the wife had got a chocolate cake pop that she wanted to share with me, trying to feed it to me while I was driving us home. But once we got back to the condo, although pretty tired from this stretch of night shifts, guess who is back on their insomnic sleep pattern, getting just over an hour of post night shift nap in today. So guys, instead of sleeping, I spent the majority of the day wondering why I couldn't go back to sleep while editing some live from last week footage back at the condo. Anyways, after dropping off the wife downtown for her night shift tonight, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I always competed with in the point guard position for basketball. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Nathaniel. Happy birthday, Nathaniel. I also got a birthday shout out to one of my cousins who is level 11 and who I last saw going to the Jurassic World show with in Hamilton. This birthday shout out goes out to you Chloe. Happy birthday Chloe. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Getting a nice sleep in, but still being behind at least a minimum of four hours from all the sleep that I've lost over the past couple of days. This morning, I unfortunately got up at the early, early time of 4.45. So I decided to get busy editing some live from last week footage while eating an early, early breakfast. Then heading back downtown to pick up the wife after her night shift. I also had come up with this spontaneous idea this morning. Trying to surprise the wife by doing an adventure that I've done in previous Live From Last Week episodes. While waiting for the wife to get off work earlier, I went on Facebook Marketplace and saw this ad for free balloons. So while driving the wife home, I made the executive decision to pick up some of these babies and surprise the wife in the car with some early birthday balloons. You can open up your eyes if you want. Under the sea, under the sea, under the sea, for your birthday. <laughs> Surprise! Thank you. Okay, never turn this. 
Anyways, going back to when I couldn't go back to sleep this morning, I just may have found the best Black Friday deal that I have ever seen. Seeing this post by my beach volleyball buddy Rob, and looking at how much I'm currently paying for my phone plan at the moment, I went to the Kudo mobile website and saw this Black Friday deal, which will give me at least 14 times the amount of data that I currently have on a 5G network nonetheless, moving up from only 5 gigabytes per month to an outrageous 70 gigabytes per month. It also had come with an option to potentially roll over any previous unused data from month to month, just as long as I get a new phone and pay the shipping fee for it, which had also amazingly had no money down or no monthly payments. All this for only five bucks more a month than what I'm currently paying. This deal is absolutely outrageous. Thanks for the heads up, Rob. But moving on, after getting home from our commute today, the wife and I caught the YouTube feed of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, watching it on TV while we had our breakfast, with some of these floats being a couple of our favorites. And on that note, I just want to throw a quick shout out to all my American neighbors in the South and wish them a happy Thanksgiving Day. But shoot guys, I think my phone is about to run out of battery. So let's charge this baby up and continue this segment elsewhere. Sorry about that guys. Evidently, when it's a little bit chilly outside, the battery on my phone kinda cuts out. But anywho, being Thanksgiving and on the topic of greetings, we have a quick birthday shout out to one of my American friends out there who I remember from my days at Neil Weissick. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Luke. Happy birthday, Luke. We've also got a birthday greeting to one of my high school friends out there who I'm remembering from back at St. Stephen's. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jillian. Happy birthday, Jillian. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my FGAR friends out there who I'm remembering from university. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Tax. Happy birthday, Tax. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But now, on to the present time. After dropping off the wife for a facial spa treatment in North York, Ooh, let's see your new face. Let's see your new face. <laughs> ah! New face. Ooh, new face. <laughs> I looked at Facebook Marketplace once again today and may have just bought my first Christmas present of the year to myself. That I'll store in the mini until I can wrap it up and put it under the Christmas tree when it's ready. But yeah, throwing back to the last time I ran into one of my indoor slash beach volleyball friends randomly. Tonight, I'm set to help out my friend Yukari and sub in in an indoor volleyball session with her team later on in Toronto. After that fun session meeting up with other beach volleyball friends that I haven't seen or played with in a while, with a couple of these highlights being some of my favorites.
I was dead tired last night. I slept late, but unfortunately woke up early after only a four hour nap. So doing what I usually do before the time of the sunrise this morning, I decided to work on some live from last week videos in order to be productive. And guys, wearing this black shirt in the honor of Black Friday today, while staying in all day on the computer, the wife and I were being somewhat suspicious looking at online promos, which may or may not have had us book our next potential trip on this outrageous Black Friday deal. And another thing we have for you guys this Friday is a quick birthday shout out to one of my former co-workers back when we worked at BBG. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. We've also got a birthday greeting to one of my friends from my youth who I used to go to dance classes with back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Corey. Happy birthday, Corey. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But now, on to the events of tonight. After dropping off the wife for a spa session in Markham with her friends, I'm back in the Queen Street West area to meet up with one of my buddies who we've seen in previous Laugh From Last Week videos. My buddy here, Nick, to catch yet another wrestling show called Super Kicked, Rumble in the Dots. After an amazing, entertaining night at Super Kicked with Nick. Super Kicked! Yo, check this out! I got a shirt! I got a shirt! Woo! Which was easily the best show I've seen so far. If you haven't been before, I invite any of y'all to come out with me to the next event I go to. I mean, especially after watching that music video as well as these highlights that I'm about to show you, of which were some of my favorites from the night. <laughs> Anyways, on to today, where I got yet another measly four hours of sleep. I got up early, seeing that we had a couple of our friends over. 
and started to make them this breakfast for our little makeshift Airbnb for all of us to enjoy this morning. Now, in the evening, after taking the wife with the balloons that I got her from earlier this week, we headed to the Midland and Finch area to pre-order a cake at a local bakery shop here, catch the beautiful scenic skies near sunset, and play with this little coin munching toy that we found. We then went to Mississauga to have some dinner at the local Gubi here, of whom reminded us that the balloons that I brought, which you guys can see here that were floating in my face, for safety reasons weren't allowed inside the restaurant. Meeting up with the in-laws to have all-you-can-eat Japanese grill while celebrating the wife's birthday one day early. And now, speaking of birthdays, we got a quick birthday shout out to one of my Titos out there. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Tito Ronnie. Happy birthday, Tito Ronnie. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my other Titos who I'm expecting to bring to Oktoberfest next year. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Tito Mike. Happy birthday, Tito Mike. We next got a birthday greeting to one of my high school classmates who I'm remembering from HT. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Ashley. Happy birthday, Ash. Also, we got a birthday greeting to one of my other high school friends out there. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Nicole. Happy birthday, Nicole. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my Wysik friends who I'm remembering when we both lived back in downtown Toronto. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jennifer. Happy birthday, Jennifer. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Now to things being back here in Saga at the Saga home, surprising the sister-in-law with one of her favorite balloons that she's ever seen before, this bluey balloon. We continued the celebrations of the wife's birthday with the family. Wish. Yay! Okay, cake time. Cake time. <laughs> so opening today on the topic of birthdays, we have a birthday shout out to one of my friends who I went out with for Greek food and who I know through my Tita Elsie and my cousin Elijah. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Eunice. Happy birthday, Eunice. We also got a birthday shout out to one of my friends that I made through the Ryerson Catholic Chaplaincy. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Jason. Happy birthday, Jason. Next up, we got a birthday greeting to one of my friends that I made through a university orientation session at Sick Kids with our friend, Courtney. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Becca. Happy birthday, Becca. We also got a birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I know from all the way back to our days at Mother Teresa. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Haley. Happy birthday, Haley. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to the one and only who has been with me through the thick and thin, who is also my lifelong travel companion, and who I truly treasure more and more each and every day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, wife. Happy birthday, wife. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And on that note, guys, something that's been a treasured tradition of ours, at the stroke of midnight, I actually had this surprise for the wife while she was preoccupied with some of her Korean shows that she was watching on TV from a cake shop that we actually visited earlier. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Make a wish and blow. Wait, hold on. Put that down. Okay. Make a wish and blow out your candle. Yay! Yay! Wait, one second. But shortly after, with this type of sleep block that I've had over the past week, the wife had let me pass out on the couch 
allowing me to get some somewhat decent sleep while also spending a little time with her husband, passing out on the other couch that was pretty much right beside me. Anyways, of course, I got up after about five hours of rest before editing some Live From Last Week videos with the new purchase from Facebook Marketplace that I bought on Friday night, a new privacy screen for my MacBook laptop. But yeah, going back to earlier this morning, where I had another surprise for the wife just after midnight. Okay, one more thing. Okay, you ready? Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. Happy two year anniversary. Happy two year anniversary. <laughs> Today, we're also celebrating our second year wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary, wife. So, continuing with our anniversary day today, the wife and I made our way to the place where we had our wedding ceremony two years ago to this day. At the one, the only Our Lady of Lords Parish in Toronto, for Sunday Catholic Mass, presided by the same priest that did our wedding, Father Darrell, before trying to surprise the wife, taking her to this local Toronto park for our anniversary. Okay, and then... Let's see where I know where we are. <laughs> I'm not surprised anymore, Jay. <laughs> and we are at anniversary park for our anniversary. One, two, three. Happy anniversary! Two. Next, we made our way to the Scarborough Korean Grill House to meet up with Tito Eddie and Tita Nancy for our second barbecue all you can eat in the span of two days before going back to this store to pick up a $50 taro mochi cake that we pre-ordered just yesterday. We then made our way back to the condo to help Tita Mone set up her new phone, which was the Google Pixel 7 that I recently got from a Black Friday deal, getting her acquainted with this new technology here, while also helping Tito Eddie set up his new iPhone as well before breaking out the taro mochi cake and singing yet another birthday song for the birthday girl. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Make a wish. How young are you now? You're one, you're two. Oh, you're <laughs> <me> a while. <laughs> Is there a candle to blow it? Yay! Yay. Blow the candle. Okay, blow the candle. Ooh, Yay! Oh, and honestly, guys, after trying out this taro mochi cake. Oh, how's your cake? Yeah, mochi. Yeah. Mochi. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Mm. How's it? Good. Good. I think we all agreed that it was pretty good. Mmm, with the mochi. Yeah, with the mochi. Let's set up with the mochi. But tonight, to wrap up the wife's birthday and our wedding anniversary of 2023, I decided to take the wife out to an experience that we both haven't had tried before. Doing something new, going to the St. Clair West area to meet up with some of these strangers for our first ever VR session. Guys, that was an amazing experience doing VR for the first time at Zero Latency, where our team put up these stats, placing in the top three of all time at that Toronto location. And also included in our session, Zero Latency actually had some gameplay of our group that was live streamed on Twitch. <laughs> as replays that the wife and I got to watch on TV when we got back last night to the condo. So yeah guys, I would definitely recommend Zero Latency as a hotspot for VR. And based on our great experience last night, I just may go back there again sometime in the future.
Anyways, after that session, we had a quick walk in the rain down to the restaurant called Atomic 10, where they served us some special drinks like this one called La Paloma that we had, along with some pretty decent nachos, and this steak dish that I thoroughly enjoyed and would recommend, the one they call the Churrasco. And after our time here was done, I got to surprise the cousin Faye with these balloons from the mini since her birthday is coming up. And in return, Faye Nedwabe actually gave me this surprise birthday package that they meant to give to me earlier this month. An over the door houseware rack. But when I opened the package up a little bit more, I got a little bit head faked because it actually wasn't a house rack at all. Thanks for that head fake and that surprise present, guys. Yeah, put the head on it, yeah. Yeah, that's how I look like if I wore the shirt. <laughs> and if I was waving it. Woo! Woohoo! But moving on with today being Cyber Monday, and with Tita Munit trading to me her iPhone 14 for that Google Pixel 7 that we helped her set up yesterday, the wife wanted me to use this new phone. But I refused unless it had a dustproof case protecting it. So with the help of our dear friend Andrea, I was able to secure a Cyber Monday deal of a new phone case that is set to be delivered by tomorrow. But now on to this evening's events where I haven't used this facility since this live from last week episode. And haven't done this exercise even though I was poolside and in the water on the beaches of Mexico when we were there. The wife and I used the condo's indoor swimming pool before relaxing and resting for the night. But before we do that, we have a quick birthday shout out to one of my elementary school friends who I've known since my mother Teresa days all the way through high school. This birthday shout out goes out to you Carly. Happy birthday Carly. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my buddies out there of whom I went snowboarding with this past winter at Blue Mountain. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Raphael. Happy birthday, Raphael. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And with that, guys, before we watch more replays of our VR session on Twitch tonight, We'll wrap up this week's Live from Last Week episode right here. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.